Welcome back to another sketchbook tour. I have been crunching away at this sketchbook for the past, I don't know, few months. It's kind of just been sitting in my room completed because I just haven't had the energy to, I don't know, record a flip through of it. Cause I don't know, something about it is very, bizarre but i kind of liked working in the sketchbook it's just a regular old um just lined notebook as usual but this time it's kind of like a hard covered one so it's like more like an actual sketchbook um this is some collage uh this is a free sticker i got and then my friend gave me that okay so i i started this one on the 28th of the third this year um so yeah, I think it took me about three, two and a half months maybe to complete. Um, but yeah, as always on the first page, I like, I don't know, I kind of like write down some ideas and do some sketches for like potential stuff. So this was just some exper conceptual in experimentation. Um, and then this is from a Nan Golden photo, I think. Um, and then this was a little doodle. Um, I started using like a lot of uh, like scrap paper and like scrap booking, bruh. Um, just like gluing a bunch of things in and, and, and drawing on them um, and utilizing the texture. Uh, this was in pen. Uh, just this weird, creepy man with a hat. Um, I probably drew it on the train. Um, and then here is a horse exploding. Yeah. And then this is a, a Sidney Nolan painting that I got a postcard of. These, this is the example of me just sticking in a bunch of different, like, pieces of paper and kind of just, like, doing, like, whatever. Uh, so, I, I don't know, I don't know what to say because it's like, it's nothing special, it's just a bunch of like things I've done from my brain. Um, I, I've, I've been beginning to do more like, I don't know, I don't know what that's called, like, just the texture, not in shapes and, and getting down the colour, um, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> don't ask me questions. Uh, that's... Um, this is... Uh, I think these were pears. I don't know. I don't know. Um, this was like a cutout um, from like a candy I got. Um, and it was like the packaging. And I liked this. I liked this cat. Um, and then this was another pen drawing of... I don't know what, this guy sitting down, I guess. Um, this is a telephone pole, but from below, and it's from like a photo I did, and I just did it in some fine liner. Uh, goat. This, this is crazy. I'm not gonna say anything about it, and I'm gonna move on. This, I think this was supposed to be a tree. It's also in ballpoint pen, but it's like this like abstract design or something. Um, these were some trees. I think I was like picking someone up from somewhere and I was waiting for them to come and I was just drawing some trees in my sketchbook. And then this was another thing, another um, I did a pen drawing and then I was like mishmashing some other lined paper drawings. Um, another telephone pole and then another like just drawing from my brain, I think. Oh, this is a friend. I just drew them a photo of them for practice. Um, I think that I did this in class and I was waiting for the teacher to start teaching. Uh, I don't, I don't know, just a bunch of like blocky colors and some, some people. Um, this, 
I did this whole painting on like receipts and stuff and like found pieces of paper and I drew my friend and then I tore the whole canvas apart and I painted over it because I do that to basically every painting I paint. Um, and this was a little salvaged, salvaged scrap from that. Um, this was me swatching some pens in my pencil case. And so I started uni this, this like semester at the beginning of the year uh, when I started the sketchbook and they offer like, um, they don't offer like drawing class for you to take throughout the entire year. So they have like life drawing club and it's really cheap. And so there's a bunch of life drawings in the sketchbook. A lot of it is life drawing because like I showed up to the life drawing class without a specific sketchbook. Um, so yeah, just a bunch of brief. I really like using pen for life drawing. It's just so, it just makes me feel some kind of way. Um, yeah, but I don't know how I feel about these. I think I can, I think I see myself getting a little bit better, um, at life drawing throughout the sketchbook. Um, this is sometimes like when I'm sitting on the train home, I, I see like, I like looking at like the shapes and kind of like in my mind cropping it. Um, and then just like drawing it in my sketchbook. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, just drawing from observation. Um, this was a guy I saw on the train home one night. This is another Sydney Nolan painting that I um, have a postcard of. And then there was a drawing behind there I don't like. This is the same man as the previous page. He, he sat in the same position for the whole like 35 minute train ride. And I just drew hit, like him because he looked so kind of funny and silly. Um, and kind of sad, uh, but this is kind of where I started, um, the train, <laughs> the train becoming a subject matter for my, my final, uh, paintings for my painting class, but I had all, I have all of these sketches and, um, from observation of the train, um, and then this is just, I don't know, another ballpoint pen face thing. This, I don't know, just doodling in class or something. I think that's supposed to be a face and then that's a hand. Um, and then this, this, imagine, imagine like you're looking at a train from the outside and it's nighttime and you're looking in at, on, at this like window and but everyone's like always on their phone. And so it's kind of like, it's kind of like the, this, this window into the train, but it's also kind of like a phone screen. Um, I don't know, conceptual, conceptual stuff. Um, this is like the reverse of that. It's, it's like blue on the inside. I don't know, don't ask questions. Like, and then this guy, I've been, okay, so the guys I do from imagination, these like weird thingy things when I'm bored, I've been like mixing that with like the abstract kind of shapes and and things I'm, I'm i'm trying to like focus not like only having like a weird thingy i'm trying to like i don't know expand um that is actually fucking disgusting this i it's um what is it called when you like you have flowers and you like press them and something obviously i didn't do it right because it's like it's so gross um, and all black, <laughs> um, that's some writing, and then another one of the, the guys, and then more of, I don't know, just drawing slash painting from, from my brain, a green energy Pokemon card, because if I were a Pokemon card, like, energy, I would be leaf energy, um, Another one of these guys. Um, I really love drawing ears. Ears are so fun. They're like little caverns and like fleshy blobs. <laughs> um, this was in colored pencil. Uh, it's like a guy sitting and then that's their booty. Yeah. This was some packaging of a drink. And then this is 
from a photo of a tree. Um, I've been trying to draw stuff other than people. It's it's so difficult for me. Um, and then these were people, I don't know, people in business suits with tiny heads. More swatching. So this is um, more life drawing. There's nothing like amazing to say about any of these. I like the red ballpoint pen, and sometimes I do colored pencil underneath, and then I go over top with ballpoint pen, and it kind of looks it looks interesting sometimes. I like that one. I think I think I had an excess of time, and so I was drawing the people behind, and they were kind of like looking at me. I'm pretty sure. Um, this is probably someone on the train that I drew, and there as well. More swatching, more swatching. And then this is me planning for my, my painting final, uh, which I have completed, but I hated my paintings because I did not have enough time because of my stupid sculpture, whatever. More train, more train. This was someone that was sitting in front of me um, who I always see on the train as well. I always see this man and I'm always tempted to draw him. Um, and then some other people as well. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. Uh, train. Train. There are a lot of train sketches. Um, and then I think this was... I was in class and I was like trying to come up with something to draw. And I was just like doodling in ballpoint pen and making him like really angular. Um, but yeah, and then I added this, added this, like, cut out of a yellow envelope later on. Uh, more life drawing. More life drawing. Um, I thought that was funny. I don't, I don't really like these ones very, very much. Um, and then this is... I just a, a drawing from photos that I had taken on on trains and kind of com coming up with compositions that I could potentially paint for my assignment. Um, another life drawing sketch and another like thumbnail. Uh, more thumbnails. Uh, me planning for my sculpture, and then and then this we had to. We had to do that thing where you go to a, um, you go to an art museum and then you pick a, a painting or something, an artwork, and sit in front of it for an hour. And so I did that, and I and I picked this one called the Must. Oh wait, no, it's called Virgin and Child with Saint James the Pilgrim, Saint Catherine, and the Donor with Saint Peter, and it's interesting. So I I wrote all of these notes about it. Um, this is more life drawing. Um, uh, yeah, wait, these are from the train again. Uh, I don't know if this is the same person as, as like before, but this person had their bike in front of me and it was really cool. And then I was just like really trying to, to get this person's like likeness and they were kind of like bending over and on their phone. Um, and I really liked the shape that they were kind of, they were kind of making this. I don't, I, I don't know. I think I had this piece of paper from life drawing and I cut her in half. And then I drew this part of the fish first and then put that there. Um, I don't know. I like it. I like how, how it looks. It's not amazing, um, but whatever. Oh, this is from a rally I went to. And then this, this is me planning for my, <laughs> my like niche, um, Hall oh, not Halloween costume. Uh, my friend at a party where everyone had to dress up as, um, like a car like a dead person from history. And so I picked Katia Craft, the, the, um, volcanic scientist, because I watched, um, fire of love the documentary on her um and i liked it it 
has such a good soundtrack, so you should watch it. Um, this was just me drawing, like painting, because I I I I always like draw from from mem memory from my head, and I and I and I rarely paint from memory. So um, this was me just kind of like figuring out the shapes, the line I could ma make, like the effect I could get with um, pen and kind of contrasting it um, with other other stuff. Um, this was me planning my sculpture and fun fact, uh, my sculpture teacher was terrible and I hated her and I'm pretty sure I failed the, the course. Um, this was someone in my sculpture, in my sculpture class. Um, this is a colored pencil and like acrylic paint, just doodle I did from my brain again. I need to do more from observation. I don't do much observation. And then this was me swatching um, colors for, cause I'm so bad with choosing colors for paintings. I'm absolutely terrible at it. And so I was trying to like give myself these four colors and then white as well, and then see, see like what color ranges I could get. It didn't really work, but whatever. And then this is more life drawing, I think. Yeah, more life drawing, more life drawing. Um, and then oh, whenever I go to life drawing, it ends really late at night. Well, not really late at night, but it ends at night. And so I immediately catch the train home and um, there's always like people just on their phone, like they're probably tired from like a shift at work. And so you can, you can draw them and it's really fun. And I'm always in the mood after life drawing to do some drawing. And so, um, yeah, it's just really fun. So these were two people that were on the train, uh, more people. And then trying to play with, I don't know if you can see this very well, but like trying to play with, um, kind of not just what like I'm looking at, but like kind of in my mind, cropping them into a composition that's kind of like better than like what is actually in front of you. Um, uh, just a bunch of, just a bunch of doodles and whatever. And then, yeah, just more me. I think I was testing out paint maybe. Uh, and then this is an insane page. Um, I think these were all done on the train and everyone, it was, it was, it was like busy. And so everyone kept moving and I couldn't, I draw the same people, um, for a really long time. And so there's just like bits and bobs of a bunch of different people. Like there's, there's some ears here and then there's a full body here and someone around the corner and then some heads together. Um, I, if you take any advice from me at all, Paint while you are on the train. Not paint, draw, draw from observation while you are uh, traveling, like from point A to point B, um, especially on trains, because people, they, they just sit on their phone the whole time and it's free life drawing. So yeah, um, was just doodling here. And then I don't really know what this page is. I think it's a lot of things, but this was me swatching paint once again. I didn't like what was under this. And so I, I do a little horse on some tape. Uh, this, I wanted to draw what someone would look like holding a bike and I can't really draw bikes. And then this was me trying to figure out <laughs> like color relationships, but it didn't really work. And then this is just a blob of a bunch of like arms and legs um, because I had extra paint. Um, surprise, surprise, more train sketches. This, I was looking at someone's, someone's arm here and oh, I think this was the same, yeah. Then there was someone sitting here and they just looked, they, they, they were hunched over very interestingly. And then uh, there was this person's face it's kind of funny when you draw people on the train and like they kind of notice you drawing them and they're kind of like confused but also like a little scared they're like oh, i can't move like are they drawing me are they looking at me 
and it's it's kind of, it's just funny. You just put them in an, a weird position. Um, but yeah, I was I was trying to. I think this page is all hands. Yeah, all trying to figure out this this man uh, here. He was he kept, he kept moving his hands around like the hangy thing on the train, and I I just really wanted to capture it um, so that I could learn from it. And then this is a. Uh, um, I don't know what this is called, but I printed it in my photography class. Like, I took this film photo, and then I developed it, and then, like, turned it into a print in the dark rooms. Um, but, like, this negative was fucked over or something, because, um, I got my fingerprints or something, or some kind of chemical on it. Um, but yeah. And then I think this is the last page potentially um i did this little doodle on this um piece of paper and then stuck it in here and turned it into like this weird this weird thing which is a common theme a lot of weird things um but whatever whatever alas and then boom done uh i hope you found that interesting i think it is weird Thank you.